Five, four, three, two, one. Main engine to Argo. Enjoy the ride, pal. Mission Control, we have a liftoff. Seasoning presents OVW All Systems Go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Dano Seasoning, Tuckman and Dano. What's going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming out here. Uh, Dana's proud to be a sponsor and work with Ohio Valley Wrestling and coming and doing things like this. We really appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, this is the All Systems Go. So as All Systems Go, let's get it on, guys. Let's get that yum yum sub. Get your rumble on, boys. Eric, without further ado, my man, tell us who's fighting. Toothpick Dana, I gotcha. The following contest is the Dano's Yum Yum Get You Some Speed Rumble. And the rules are as follows. All the contestants have drawn numbers at random before the show. In just a few minutes, they will enter at 30 second intervals. You can only be eliminated when you go over the top rope and both feet touch the floor. The last man standing in the ring at the end of the match will be the winner and be declared the number one contender for the Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Heavyweight Championship. And now the contestant that drew number one. Representing Dark Clouds. Elusive Eric Dark Storm. Eric Dark Storm kicking off this yum yum get you some rumble to determine the new number one contender for the Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Championship, guys. Welcome back to OVW TV. And now Welcome the to all systems. That's go. number two. Who's gonna be next? Wait a minute. Wait, they play the Dark Star's music? music? Oh no! Representing Dark Clouds, the Hustle to get fun tone. Guys, I'm at Dark Cloud versus Dark Cloud to start this. I'm absolutely shocked to see this. I mean, we'll have another competitor in 30 minutes, but... 30, 30 minutes? minutes. 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 what kind of match is this, Ryan? Okay, you guys can take a chill pill. I, I said one word wrong. But 30 seconds here. But but 30 seconds to see the Gap Bundles versus Eric Darkstorm. This isn't... Guys, I would dare say a dream match. I would love to see these two go at it. I don't think these two are... Uh, they're going to come up with an agreement. Yeah, don't worry exactly. about it. Don't why worry not, about why it. Why not just wait another 20 seconds, let somebody else come out, and then double team them? Looks like Dark Clouds are... Using that 30 seconds to strategize before the next entrant. There we go. Yeah, take another 15 Ten, seconds to your handshakes. Nine, Not a lot eight, of teams in Rumbles, seven, but it looks like. Oh, no, oh my God! Dickhead Bundles attack a dog storm! Four, to I don't three, believe it! Two, one. Dickhead trying to eliminate Dark Storm. I can't believe it! Wait a minute. Who's next? Curse of the Dragon! Dragon. 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 Rumbling. The Rate Razor, Ed Carson Drake, trying to enter this matchup, this rumble. The guys call until the Rate Razor says when you face him, your value goes up. But right now, this looks like Carson Drake's going down. Dark Clouds looks Ten, like they overcome those differences nine, from earlier. Now, eight, oh, working seven, as a tandem again. Six, five, Carson four, Drake, oh, sent four, back to California. Two, one, Carson Drake that? has been eliminated. Guys, watch out, the fuzz is here. I'm hiding. Tyler Lee, Deputy, but in there against Dark Clouds. Two guys, I don't think mind laying their hands on a police officer. Because 
this might be what we see for the next of this rumble. I mean, Dark Cloud's absolutely dominating. I don't know a lot of people that can beat them in a one on two scenario, if anybody. I don't know how they can. Dark Storm needs to watch his back after the get bundles just attacked him out of nowhere to start the match. And goodbye, Mr. Deputy. Tyler Lee Deputy has been eliminated. And we're back down to the Dark Clouds. Tyler Lee Deputy leaving with some extra red and blue all over his body. Did, you, did I hear you all right? The fuzz is gone. I can come back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clear now. All You're right, good. cool. Thank you. Thank one, you. One half a bankroll out here. Dimes comes in with a head full of steam, but that might be the Dark first time I, on the double team. It might be the first time I ever saw Dimes go under the ropes and not over top of them. And Dime clearly has issues with Seven, with, with Dark Clouds because bankroll and Dark Clouds are tumultuous four, feud right now. Are they going to get another one out? Two, Dimes able to hold on to that rope though, not get eliminated. Dustin Jackson now enters. Four men in the ring, the most we've had in this rumble so far. Dustin Jackson coming in like a house of fire, Louisville's favorite son, coming out with some Louisville Slugger fist to the face of Dark Clouds. Got the former tag team champs reeling. Ooh. Meeting of the mind here. This speed rumble has just rolled on, guys. Two Done. eliminations already, four men in the ring. Seven, Kentucky six, Heavyweight Championship five, match hangs in the four, balance. Three. Two, Who's gonna be one. next? Oh, oh no, there goes a dark cloud! Oh, Justin Jackson just eliminated both the Take dark clouds! And Aaron Dexter have They can't eliminated. believe it, Dustin Jackson pulled one over on dark clouds! Cash flow! Whoa, look out! Dark clouds trying to get back in there, lay some hands on Dustin Jackson, but cash flow, proprietor of the chop shop, one half a bankroll, getting his bound of flesh. Cash flow needs on. to focus on getting in the ring! Dark. Dark Clouds Ten, getting that nine, revenge hit from eight, cash flow, tossing them to the back. Six, five, four, three, two. I gotta tell you, it's not one. a good place for Dustin Jackson right now with both the big roll in there. Uh oh. Here comes Superior, Tony Superior, Evans. Two, Superior Tony Evans. Evans with a chop block there. A big cash flow. Brilliant maneuver by the Superior one. Cash flow took some time to toss Dark Clouds out before getting in. It might have cost me because, of the, Steve, to your point, that chop block from Superior Tony Evans. Oh, never mind. Didn't slow cash flow down at all. Opening up the chop shop in a big way. That was just a chop, no block. Now, guys, oh, ooh, this match is exhausting. This is because it's the eight, speed rumble, 30 seven, second intervals. Six, it's high speed five, action kicking off four, here. We got somebody else coming in two, in just three seconds. Four. This still just gone rogue. Now, hold on. Garrison Reed operating Garrison locations Reed. worldwide here. Now operating in this Yum Yum Get You Some. Oh, sorry. The Yum Yum Get You Some Rumble to determine the next number one contender for that Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Championship. The action is fast and furious here. Almost too quick to call. We've got action all over the ring. We've got oh. bankroll taking care of Dustin Jacks. We've got Garrison Creed. Two, working on Superior nine, Tony Evans, eight, and now we've got another seven, man entering. Six, five, four, Who is three, next in this Yum Yum two, Get You Some Rumble? One. Oh, oh Reverend The man who died, Reverend Ronnie Roberts, entering this matchup. Six men in the ring now, guys. The most we've had in the ring at the same time for this Yum Yum Get You Some Rumble. And usually, Ryan, or, uh, Reverend Ronnie Roberts comes out here with the collection Ooh. plate, but tonight, he's gonna try to collect the number one contendership for the Kentucky Heavyweight Championship. You're saying it, you're not wrong, and he's gonna cash in tonight if he Eight, can win this matchup. Seven, and guys, six, again, this is all five, Systems Go, sponsored four, by Dan O's season, three, and this is the Yum two, Yum Get You Some Rumble, and this is your next competitor. Big Joe, Joe back. Has to be one of the odds on favor to win this matchup based on size alone. I mean, how are you going to get him over the top how rope, Steve? How oh. are you going to get the big man over the top rope? Oh, oh. Nearly seven foot tall. Coming in, just an absolute powerhouse is Joe Mack. You got a couple of seven footers in there. Two, got about Dobbs. He's nine, seven foot four. He's eight, over in the corner. Seven, six. So many competitors five, starting to fill up the four, ring, guys. Such three, big stakes with that two, title match hanging in one. the balance. Wait a minute. The Mayan Mother, oh my God, Hernandez. Hernandez. A man who knows a thing or two about championships, Drew Hernandez, the Mayan Mother, making his long away to turn here to Davis Arena under the beautiful lights of DC Productions and all systems go. You know, you know that uh, Drew Hernandez would love nothing more than to become the new Kentucky heavyweight champion. And guys, he's got the body to match. I'll tell you, Drew Hernandez, been away a little bit, retooling, refining himself, came back in the best shape of his oh. life. And look at the aggression All right, of guys, the Mahler. I'm going to say it. This is my favorite. Drew Hernandez, there's no way that he can lose this match. With the strength and the power of this man, you see how he is tossing these guys as if they're 
children as if they're toys. Wait a minute, look at that. He's got a seven foot four man on his back. Oh, oh just tossing dimes like a sack of potatoes. Drew Hernandez coming in with all the strength in the world and all the momentum. Oh, Hold no, on. He's about the powerbomb dimes. No way. Hold on. Dimes up. Oh, oh brings him down. A big DDT from the seven footer dimes. And guys, we have got action everywhere. There goes the hand of God on the big man. Battling all over the ring in this yum yum. Get you some rumble, guys. Oh, no. oh Dimes. There goes dimes dimes. tossing the outside. Reverend dimes Roberts eliminated Dimes. Eliminated. Dimes was my favorite. I can't believe somebody that big could go over the top rope. Now, guys, that is the end of the competitors in this speed rumble. One of these men will win and go on to be the number one contender for the Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Championship. They will go on to fight for that title. So many, so much big stakes on the line for this matchup. I still can't get over Dimes being eliminated. That's like Big John Studd being eliminated from a rumble. It's <laughs> like Hogan, uh, body slamming Andre the, Andre the Giant. I know, but that's old news. We gotta look, look out, to the future. Oh. The oh. <laughs> Speaking of big stakes, Brian, you know what goes great on a big stake? Dan O's season it, baby. Yum, yum, eliminated. get you some. Steven, not wrong, it's Dan Good. And this is a damn good matchup so far, guys. But who is going to walk out of this match victorious? Who's going to go on to, to challenge Jake Lawless for that Kentucky championship? Garrison Creed holding on, able to pull himself back in. Joe Mack almost oh, had him. No. Oh, Joe Mack gets him that time, though. Garrison, Garrison Creed, Creed skinned the cat, only to have the cat skin him right back, and he is eliminated. Joe Mack showing his strength, showing his size advantage there. You guys, we're starting to dwindle down. We got Dustin Speaking Jackson, of size advantage. Joe Mack, Cash Flow, Reverend Ronnie Roberts, and Drew Hernandez. Battle of the monsters here. Meeting of the Kaijus in the middle of the ring. Big Cash Flow. Ooh, a jump is Joe Mack. Flow. Cash Flow just offering a free chop. Joe, Joe Mack. Here's Joe, I know you're new, but no. oh, you don't challenge Wait Cash a Flow to chop off. I don't think that Joe Mack even felt that. Ooh. Trading chops back and forth there like they're Pokemon cards. I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, oh I know, because you're banned from a lot of card chops. It's a thing. Cashflow and Joe Mack just back and forth right now. Two Redwoods just beating the hell out of each other, uh, trying to kick uh, each this, other's chest. This Redwood has got some extra fire in him. Yo, Cashflow tries to eliminate Joe Mack, but Joe Mack able to hold on somehow that big frame. Dustin Jackson just tossed like a... Oh, what? oh, Dustin, no. oh my God, oh, no. Cashflow! Cashflow eliminated, Cash I don't believe it! Cashflow was about to pick the win this thing, I can't believe it, Folks, he's, he's eliminated! We'll be right back with more All Systems, go! At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I lost everything, and I still thought I was in control. And that's when a friend told me about elite rehab placement. They found me a program that fit my needs. It was a small enough program that I could get that one-on-one -on -one attention. And they gave me the tools I needed to get sober. Are you experiencing any of the following? Fatigue, less drive, poor performance? If so, you may be one of the nearly 30 million men in the U.S. today dealing with ED. You can find out how Herbal Virility Max can help you feel like a man again. Herbal Virility Max has helped guys just like you put a smile back on their face. Call today and ask about our buy one, get one free offer. Call 855-827-5008. Folks, welcome back to All Systems Go. This yum yum get you some rumble has, has, has barreled on and cash flow eliminated just before the break. We're down to the final four. That's right, one of these four men will become the number one contender for the Country Boy Brewing Kentucky State Championship. Ooh, Reverend Ronnie Roberts gets that boot up. Big Bulldog. Now, guys, two of these competitors chasing their first taste of gold here in OVW and Reverend Ronnie Roberts and Joe Mack. Dustin Jackson, Drew Hernandez knows what it's like to carry championships in this prestigious historic organization. What it takes to be successful in the beautiful lights of DC Productions. Oh, Reverend Ronnie Roberts holding on. Dustin Jackson out of nowhere, though. Wait oh, a minute. Hold on. Got him up and over, but Rev still holding on. The power of pride. Uh, Bush. Look the power of Christ. Oh, that's no way. To, oh my God. That's no way to treat a Reverend. Reverend, Reverend Ronnie Roberts, Roberts almost goes through the barricade, almost through that Danos flag. Nope. Joe Mack goes for a big close left. Dustin Jackson pulls him over. It's Joe Mack. Joe oh. Mack's fate never touched the floor, holding on. Inches away. Somehow the seven-footer able to Wait, there goes. keep both oh. feet off the ground. Unbelievable. Hernandez thought he eliminated both, but both holding on. 
Hold on, Dustin Jackson, Drew Hernandez, guys with a history of their own, a bitter feud just last year. Drew, Na Drew Hernandez frustrated that he wasn't able to eliminate Dustin Jackson just a minute ago, and now these guys have come to blows here. Oh, what a big chop there from Drew Hernandez. Oh, Jackson returning one time. These two absolute best friends. Ooh, we saw that dissolve last year, break down into this bitter rivalry, and I think, oh, reigniting now in this yum yum, get you some rumble. Ooh. With the chance that the Country Boy Kentucky Heavyweight Championship oh. on the line, these guys are going to do oh. whatever it takes, including rip each other apart with these huge chops. You can chop your opponent all you want, but for this match, you got to put him over the top rope if you want that title match. Brilliant maneuver by the Mayan Mauler. Oh, Dustin Jackson. Dustin Jackson. Yeah. Brilliant low, maneuver. Low blow from Drew Hernandez allowed him to get the, the advantage and toss out Dustin Jackson. Yum, yum, get you some. Anything goes We're down in to, this rumble. Down to the last two, Joe Mack and Drew Hernandez, one of these men will challenge Jake Lawless for that Country Boy Kentucky Championship. But which one will it be? The uh, Mayan Mahler, the newcomer Joe Mack. What a big win this would be for that big man. I've got a lot of money riding on Drew Hernandez winning this match, so I'm really going to need him to pull through. Please pull through, Drew. My yep. house is on the line. Well, Drew's in trouble right now. Joe Mack is laying in the fist. Here we go. These two colliding. And there we go. Drew Hernandez going straight for the throat, getting that little bit of reprieve. But Joe Mack right back on the attack. The man's just too strong. I mean, how do you stop a tank? Was he going to try to choke slam the big Mayan Mauler? I don't think so. Hold on. Joe Mack up over the top rope. Drew Hernandez trying to overpower Mack. Can he do it? Can he secure that title match? Ooh, Joe Mack somehow desperately able to hold on there, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, Drew Hernandez going to have a hard time holding on to teeth after that. Sweet Huge Lord. Boot. Everything hanging in the balance here. Here goes Drew. Drew Hernandez. Oh my God, Joe Mack did it. I don't believe it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Your winner of the Danos Yum Yum Get Your Slow Rumble, Joe Mack. What a big win for Joe Mack. This kid here a couple of months and now secured himself a Kentucky Heavyweight Championship matchup. Joe Mack, new number one contender for the OVW Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Championship. Joe Mack winning the biggest match of his career here tonight. And all systems go in the Dan O season. Yum, yum, get you some rumble. But there's still so much more action. Let's go to Shannon and Steve to hear all about it. And I'll see you in just a second. I'll tell you, we got a big... Thank you, but turn this mic on. Turn the mics on, guys. Chase Louise, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All systems go is a go. And we've got a new number one contender for the Country Boy Kentucky Heavyweight Championship. Congratulations to Joe Mack. But ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting started. We have huge matches tonight, including Crixus versus Amon in the first ever Ronin Underground Street Fight match that has to be seen to be believed. And that's right, oh, give me that microphone. Also, let me tell you about this. Coming up tonight, we're gonna take down these ropes. It's gonna be one of the most brutal matches you've ever seen. We're gonna replace these ropes with chains. Chain carnage, because tonight, dysfunction is gonna finish what they started when they take apart Level X once and for all. Folks, there's still so much left to go in all systems go, but right after the break, who has been toying with Mahabali Shira? We're gonna finally find out after the break. Don't go anywhere. At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I lost everything, and I still thought I was in control. And that's when a friend told me about Elite Rehab Placement. They found me a program that fit my needs. It was a small enough program that I could get that one-on-one -on -one attention, and they gave me the tools I needed to get sober. Are you experiencing any of the following? Fatigue, less drive, poor performance? If so, you may be one of the nearly 30 million men in the U.S. today dealing with ED. You can find out how Herbal Virility Max can help you feel like a man again. Herbal Virility Max has helped guys just like you put a smile back on their face. Call today and ask about our buy one, get one free offer. Call 855-827-5008. And now, the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Hey, hey, give me the gadlin. I need to be superstar status. I'm about to be three-time champion. I need to look better than Layla, you understand? Just know 
that I like my lashes long, I need to be bougie, I need to be extra, everything that Layla Gray is not. You understand what I'm saying, Nikeem? Damn. Look, damn is right, but I already have a man, honey. Layla Gray out here showing that that piece of hair that Haley is missing. Wait a minute. Haley's starting to put the picture together here a little bit. No, 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 don't show her. No! <laughs> You're beautiful to me, Hollywood. I think you need to show her some respect and balance in the brow. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. Passed. But until he gets here on June 2nd, I, I, can't, I can't tell you who he is. I'm sorry. Okay. If he's a no me, he's a no. I am the lion of this jungle. If he's my friend, he makes sure know how much this title means to me. But he wanna do that on June 2nd, I'm okay to face him and also sign that contract. But one thing, tell him, I don't care who is he. I'm not gonna be easy. This title is my world and I'm gonna rip anyone off for this one. And thank you for inviting me. Good because I love these people who are always here to support me. I love you all. I gotta tell you, champ, I think they love you too, but I gotta tell you, I don't know who this mystery person is and how much. All right, sure. I mean, this crowd obviously very much behind you, but who's been behind all these gifts? Who's been behind all these messages? I mean, do you have any ideas who it might be? I know, but I also know he's gonna be here soon, and I'm waiting for this moment. So let's do this. Bring him here. All right, guys, you heard it. You heard my Bali Shira. He wants to find out who's been sending the gifts. Who wants to send out? Who's been sending the letters? So let's find out. Sorry. Who about your damn luck. Uh -oh. <laughs> Size. Not really, actually. First of all, thank you, Jane Storm. And I want to wish you happy birthday. I know you're having fun somewhere, but you should.
James Strom. There is no doubt you have done so much for me and I appreciate everything have you done for me and I learn a lot from you. There is no doubt. But one thing, my brother, we know each other very well. You know that this National Heavyweight Championship, it's mean a lot to me and I am the lion of this jungle. If you coming here in this jungle, that means you coming for this title. Remember one thing, coming in, this is going to be easy. Getting out is not going to be easy because I'm going to walk with this title. I'm going to walk out with the title before that. I'm going to beat the best. I'm gonna still gonna be best because I am the OVW National Heavyweight Champion and no one can beat me. I'm gonna be still, raise my hand like this, be a king. And you are welcome anytime you want. This is gonna be so much, so much fun, my friend. I am excited. Mahabali Shira, one of his greatest friends in wrestling for that National Heavyweight Championship. Sure, baby, happy now, but in the end, he may be saying sorry about the damn lot. I am a non-attorney spokesperson representing a team of lawyers who've helped people that have been injured or wronged. Did you serve in the military from 2003 to 2015? And are you suffering from hearing loss or tinnitus? Then pay close attention to this message. Due to a faulty design, the earplugs worn by soldiers like you serving their country could not maintain a tight seal, exposing the soldiers using them to dangerously loud sounds. Does that sound familiar? to you, 3M, the manufacturer of these earplugs, has agreed to pay $9.1 million to soldiers who've used them from 2003 to 2015 and are having hearing problems. And remember, by filing this claim, you will not impact your VA benefits. Call the legal helpline right now. You could receive a free cash award and have your medical expenses covered. And there's no upfront cost to you. They only get paid if you win.
password.
struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I lost everything, and I still thought I was in control. And that's when a friend told me about Elite Rehab Placement. They found me a program that fit my needs. It was a small enough program that I could get that one-on-one -on -one attention, and they gave me the tools I needed to get sober. Are you experiencing any of the following? Fatigue, less drive, poor performance? If so, you may be one of the nearly 30 million men in the U.S. today dealing with ED. You can find out how Herbal Virility Max can help you feel like a man again. Herbal Virility Max has helped guys just like you put a smile back on their face. Call today and ask about our buy one, get one free offer. Call 855-827-5008. I'll spike pile driver right here in the center of this ring. For two months, I've been scratching, crawling for everything that I have worked my ass off for for the 10 years, and it was taken away. We are pissed off. We are ready for a fight. We want dysfunction. You need to reinstate dysfunction. Destroy. Be careful what you wish for. I dare you to hit me again. I will reinstate dysfunction. On June 2nd, it'll be Level X versus dysfunction in a chain carnage match. <laughs> you can't what you wish for. Finally. Finally, after months and months of chasing you, Dysfunction, we get our hands on you tonight. In one of the most ruthless matches in OVW history, Trained Carnage. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're right. Dysfunction, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. You're gonna be in there trapped with us, surrounded by unforgiving steel chain. Blood is inevitable. Revenge is guaranteed. And it will be next level. Are you guys there? Month after month, we have been trying to get the message across to you. But you don't understand us. And that's okay. Because we don't need you anymore. We already have who we need. And we called ourselves a name that you couldn't understand. And that's okay but we dumped it down, and you still didn't understand. So for the last three months, we have been trying to allude to what it is, and we have caused chaos and dysfunction. That ends tonight, because we're causing carnage. <laughs> <laughs> First.
the team of unforgettable Axton Ray and the Sultan of the Sky, Blanco Loco, accompanied to the ring by Dream Girl Ellie. Guys, the team just hey. got serious. The gravity just got heavier than it has the entire night. You can feel the tension that is boiled over between these two teams. You can feel the revenge. This is two months in the making. Kinnison, you just saw that Al Snow, he reinstated dysfunction. And I think tonight, before this was, or when this one's over, the blood of Level X. And their opponents, Tom Coffey, Brandon Espinosa. Oh, dysfunction, dysfunction coming from the outside. And Level X not waiting to get this started. It, going straight for dysfunction, laying out hands. And guys, again, this has been a bitter rivalry. It dark, dark feuds. That place, some of this went some dark, dark places. We saw Dream Girl Ellie and Level X put out of action for months at the hands of dysfunction. And now Axton Ray and Blanco Loco finally getting their hands on dysfunction, finally getting them reinstated. And in this match, guys, they could do things that are illegal outside of it. You would be put in jail for years for legal as a headlock tonight. Oh, Dream Girl Ellie acting more like a nightmare, and she is, it might be, in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, Dream Girl Ellie, she inserted herself into this match, and it got her into a lot of trouble last time. She may exactly get that same thing again tonight. Oh, come on, these two pieces of trash, Ben Espinosa and Tom Coffey, attacked Dream Girl Ellie, took her out for months. Oh, oh come on. Ele Ellie pulled out of the ring by Tom Coffey, face first, now Coffey attacking. Axton Ray and Loco from behind oh. helping out SB. Ooh, the level X right back on the attack. You guys, you gotta think, that revenge on their mind, giving them that extra advantage tonight, giving them some adrenaline-like momentum to rip dysfunction limb from limb. Guys, this is gonna be bloody. This is gonna be brutal. There's gonna be bruises. Skin will be ripped from their bone. This is chain freaking carnage. That's right, the ring can literally be used as a weapon. Those ropes replaced with chains. They're trying to do it right now. You see them trying to employ those, those chill chains right now. Hold on. Dream Curl Ellie coming out, beating the hell out of Espinosa. Oh, oh my no. God! Espinosa throwing those steel chains. Right into the chains. And you know, every time that their body strikes those chains, pain unlike anything they've ever felt wait, wait, before. Ellie's got that barbed wire bat. What is she doing? Right Ellie, into the throat on. of Espinosa. Ellie choking out Espinosa. Look at her. Just driving it into his throat like Shades and Negan from Walking Dead there. Ooh. Ellie's been waiting to use that bat on dysfunction for weeks, and now she's finally oh, getting oh. herself out here today. Did you see that? Level X accidentally threw Tom Coffey into, into, into Dream Girl Ellie, threw her to those damn chains and broke her in half. Oh, oh my God! Speaking of broken half, we oh got a broken top chain. Tom oh. Coffey just went through the damn steel chain. My God, I can't believe what we just saw. Oh my God! Tom Coffey might be broken in half. Wow! Dream Girl Ellie went into the chains. Tom Coffey went through the damn chains. Folks, this is train carnage and all systems go. This rolls on, do not go anywhere. At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I lost everything. And I still thought I was in control. And that's when a friend told me about elite rehab placement. They found me a program that fit my needs. It was a small enough program that I could get that one-on-one -on -one attention and they gave me the tools I needed to get sober. Are you experiencing any of the following? Fatigue, less drive, poor performance? If so, you may be one of the nearly 30 million men in the U.S. today dealing with ED. You can find out how Herbal Virility Max can help you feel like a man again. Herbal Virility Max has helped guys just like you put a smile back on their face. Call today and ask about our buy one, get one free offer. Call 855-827-5008. Welcome back to this chain carnage match, but I'm sorry, it's a bit of a visceral welcoming. Blanco Loco had his mask ripped open during the break and Espinosa sent him face first into those steel chains. And you might notice there's two of them now because Tom Coffey went through one before the break. We may not have any chains before this was over. They may all be torn down. How the this hell is, is Tom Coffey still standing after that hellacious Wait fall to the outside? Oh, oh my God, Espinosa, Espinosa opened up Loco. Look at the blood on the mask of Loco. Looks like a freaking massacre. We talked it about is. the fact that blood will be shed tonight and by God, it has been. And Tom Coffey full force sending that face, that, that broken eye, maybe a broken eye socket. 
Uh, Blanco Loco into the steel steps. And look at Espinosa now with the chain. Dream Girl Ellie still out on the outside after going on those, uh, getting thrown into those steel chains. And hold on. Espinosa. What the hell is, what the hell is Espinosa Axton thinking Ray. here? Oh, Axton Ray trying to fight out of it, but Espinosa right back on the attack, keeping that chain trapped around the wrist of Axton Ray. Dysfunction understands strength in numbers, and right now they hold a huge advantage. Steve, Dysfunction understands destruction. They understand pain. This is a, oh, God, a playground for them. Losing those chains like brass knuckles, trying to break the ribs of Axton Ray, the unforgettable one. And I can tell you right now, Level X, they have a major malfunction and a major dysfunction right now because they are getting the hell beat out of them. Tom Coffey barely able to move himself across the ring after breaking the damn steel chain with his back. You can see those look welts forming. Oh my God. Look at Loco, look at the blood just pouring out of that wound. Just covering the mask, a crimson mask, literally. Blood just gushing from Loco. Axton Ray tied up in those chains. This dysfunction has taken control of this matchup has begun to lay waste to Level X. Well, listen, Level X has no one to blame but themselves. Level X came out here, they begged Al Snow, please reinstate this function. Well, you know what? You got what you wanted, Level X. Is this what you wanted? Because you're getting it right now. The life literally pouring out of Loco right now. Espinosa screaming insults into that gaping hole in the mask of Loco, but just gushing blood. Months and months, the vitriol between these two teams has grown. The animosity has grown to a fever pitch. And tonight, yeah. it is being taken out on both teams in space. That top rope there, that top chain rope being used right now as a weapon, or about to be used as a weapon. Oh, uh, what are they oh, going to yeah. do here? Come on. No, no, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, we saw this Mike months ago. Driver. We saw this. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. there he dreamed. Ellie almost broke that That's bat over the back of <laughs> Tom Coffey. It's a bar bar bat. Get your damn heads. Are you oh, kidding me? Dream Girl Ellie going downtown. She bunted. He got a home run. Oh. Wow. Espinosa got bar wire in the nether regions. Tom Coffey got to be bleeding from his back now. That's not all where he's bleeding from. That was a local slugger down below. Dream Girl Ellie coming in like Negan from The Walking Dead and laying waste to level her dysfunction and saving level X. What's Axon Ray thinking here? Those oh, primal God. screams. Oh, oh Dream Girl Ellie. Oh, my goodness. Those screams. Look like they're amping up Axton Ray, using that chain as a weapon, taking out dysfunction. What's he thinking here? Oh my God, me with the chain. Tom Coffey might be seeing stars. He might not be seeing anything. He might be knocked out cold. And guys, we still haven't seen Loco get up. We've seen him gush of blood. We see him down in the corner, but looks like Ellie and Axton Ray taking over this chain carnage matchup. What is Axon Ray thinking here over a prone Tom Coffey? Oh, choking oh. out Tom Coffey with that chain. Ellie just threw a chain to block a logo. Hold on. Espinosa trying to get to Coffey, but can't. Loco's got the chain around the neck. No, Espinosa, both members of this function being choked out with those chains. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God. Just trigger Ellie, just crushed their hands, trying to reach for each other. They did it! Level X got their freaking pound of flesh! Your winners of Chain Carnage, Level X! They say that revenge is a dish best served cold. Well, tonight, it was all sponsored by Dan O'Sea, and the action was hotter than ever at OVW's all system go. And what better way than a historic night than a historic Chain Carnage match revenge acquired by Level X, getting their record pitch on the despicable Garbage. I can't believe what we've seen out here tonight, Kennison. This has been absolutely garbage, and it's left up to its name, Chain Carnage. And somehow, some way, Level X comes out on top of the end. After so much time, after so much animosity, finally, it came to a head here tonight. And by God, if it wasn't one of the damnedest scenes in OVW history, from Jump Street. Unbelievable action and an unbelievable night, ladies and gentlemen. And I think this was far from over. I don't think this is the last that Level X will see this destruction. We'll see about that soon. We'll see if these competitors can be a fight over the next couple weeks after the hell that they just put each other through. But you know what? Jane Carter delivered. All systems go delivered from the kickoff. We have been all foot on the gas. No break, baby. We went hell for leather. We presented you one of the finest shows of the year. This has been all systems go. Brian Kinnison, Shannon Ladeer, Dancing Stephen J. saying good fight and good night.